Afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the channel, Trim and Tap Carpets. Today I'm at Russell's place. Sunday. We just thought we'll get together and and we're gonna cut down two mini kickers. One of them's for someone that works works at Trim and Tap Carpets. Um, uh, he saw mine and he really wanted one, so I thought I'd just do one at a good, uh, at a good will, goodwill. He's a, he's a good installer and, and I like the guy, so I look after him. So um, uh, we've, this is one of them. We're gonna probably rub it down. We're gonna rub it down, Russ. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna probably sand it down and um, give it a little, give it a little coat, just so it looks half decent. We've got new nuts for it, but that's at the warehouse, so we'll do it. The main video for today is how to chop down a mini kicker and put it back together. So we've got two. They're exactly the same, I think. Yeah, they're exactly the same. Uh, just probably different models, but they're very, very similar, if not exactly the same. And we're going to do that. So we're going to do two, cut them down, and uh, sand them and respray re them. Just, just to freshen it up a bit. I'm going to show you how to do that. So stay tuned. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, interact. Let us know what you want to see next so we can keep you entertained. Health and safety. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably... You're going to get some paint stripper on this and just take off all this paint. Um, get it all ready for when it's all cut up. Now we're gonna spray it while it's all apart, isn't it? Yeah, but it's gonna be drying, isn't it? It's gonna be a dry time getting it back together. So it's up to you what you want. Either way, yeah. So we're just gonna strip it all up and then we're gonna paint it either on or off, I don't know. Russell's just getting his little bits ready. Where's our other stretcher? So yeah, we've got new naps for this one. So as you can see here, they're, they're finished. So they're gonna come off. The teeth are good. They're gonna come off, put new ones on, cut it down, probably up to where your hand is. So where you usually hold it, up to there. That's gonna be here. And yeah, mini kicker. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So we're just setting up. And uh, we'll keep you updated as soon as we've got everything ready. Okay, Russ, talk us through it, mate. Talk us through it. Right, got to break it down, lads. Just take it apart. We all know how to take them apart, so I'm going to explain that. Oh, mate. So basically, what's happened is he's tried to take it out with a drill. That oh. stretch is so old, it doesn't look like it's happening. So um, he's loosening it up with a screwdriver but I don't seem to work either so what I'm going to be doing is just watching Russell struggle <laughs> oh you got the lube out ah, a bit of WD we just got to go in wet boys easy bro this is PG <laughs> <laughs> okay right, cool All right, so after a bit of hassle, we've managed to get them out. I think the WD-40 just seeped through. And now we've got all of the screws pretty much loosened, didn't it, Russ? Yeah, they were. Yeah, yeah, we got them all. We got all ten of them loose now. So now he's going to take it apart. Right. We'll use the impact now just to get them out quick. So we were struggling to get these un untightened uh, WD-40 after a couple of minutes. It started to work and now we can undo them. So WD For those that don't know what WD-40 is. WD-40 boys. That's it. 
you got to think these stretchers are probably near enough the same age as what me and Sal are. So they're, they're very old. That one's probably definitely the same age as what me and Sal is. So bring them back to life. Yeah. All right, so now he's taking it apart. Just walk us through, Russ. That right. thing that just come out, explain it. All right, so that's the extension clip. You know, with the button we always touch just to extend it and make it go shorter and faster, shorter and longer. Um, you don't need it, it's gonna be obsolete, but we keep it We keep it just for um, to make it look good because there'll be a hole in that section otherwise. You'll just see that, so we will still keep it. You don't need the springs or the balls, they can go. So now where we are, basically broken down we are going to cut it um, it's personal preference how big your hands are you know I've got fairly big hands so I'd probably want to cut it to there Sal's hands are a little bit smaller so you might want to cut it a little bit non more narrower towards the head so preference here guys okay so how short we're gonna do this one Sal? well to be honest the guy that this is going to is about let's mark it there yeah okay all right, lovely. So can you see, we're holding the stretcher the way you usually will. Have a little mark. That's our mark. And that's where we're gonna cut it. So now, I believe, yep, we're, gonna, we're gonna cut it. We are gonna cut it. So safety guys, this is a aluminium blade in this chop saw. It's only a cheap chop saw. But to be fair, I don't spend a lot of money on tools because they break. So yeah, and this just lasts me years, so. For 30 quid, it's, it's worth its worth its money. Right, so I've got the mark. I'm just going to put a little space in there to stop it from bouncing. And I'm going to cut just after the pins so I'm not cutting through double metal. Alright, you ready? You want to have a little angle with that this side? Now, we've got to do the bottom part. So we just literally just mark the area that needs to be cut so it goes flush. I do I want to get as much as this far as possible in the stretcher still reason being it gives it more support because it's got no catch or anything holding it in place all what's going to be holding it in place is basically it being clamped together and grip filled inside so I'm going to measure that where's the pencil and we're probably going to go to about there looking at looking at that just on that mark there and a little bit shorter than that. So we're gonna go just to the bottom of the circle. Yeah, exactly that. Okay. All right. Cool. What you'll find with this, because you're at that angle, this angle, you could possibly um, pack it up with a bit of wood, etc. But we're not gonna do that. We're gonna do it the way that I did it before. And that is taking off the pads. There's a bolt behind here that holds this on and then this I can put this straight to the floor. It's a lot more safer doing it that way. Otherwise you get like an angled cut, isn't it? Angled cut, it could bounce. We're dealing with a chop saw, quite quite sake, you know what I mean? We don't want to fingers or anything. So we will do it sensitively. So, taking off the pad. And obviously why are you taking off the pad if you want to order a new pad you can do these things are all replaceable so um it might be a, you might want to consider ordering a new pad if anyone wants to do this at home 
he's taken off that pad there so if you had a new one you just replace it with a new one and before you know it you've got a brand new mini kicker basically it could be like triggers bro yeah get new new uh, teeth new new uh what's that thing called napping what what they called what's that the nap the naps new naps is that yeah, what it's called yeah, new yeah. naps yeah So now we've got the power behind here, you'll have a bolt. There we go. We now we've got to take that off. So we'll need a ratchet set. I think my daughters have gave me a cold. So sorry about the sniffing, guys. Plus, I've got allergies, always got allergies all the way around. So, so I think it's probably a number 10. No higher than that right it's, it's an 11 mil so everyone's is going to be the same it's going to be an 11 mil socket and then all you're going to do is unscrew this and that should come out Hmm, should. Should. Unless it's different to mine. Get the WD-40. It might need a WD-40, boys. <laughs> mine come out. And so did Sal's as well. So, And they're both, they're, all of them are Roberts. So, yeah. Nah, I just need a bit of tap, a bit of vibration. That should come out. Possibly, yeah. Just need a bit of persuasion. So what we do is, we'll come back as soon as that is out. So, a bit of WD-40. It seems like it's loosening up now. Yeah. Oh, there you go, it's come out. Sweet. So, that is it. WD-40 is the trick. That's our best friend today. Right. So, what we're suggesting with the mark, is the stretch is going to go there. So, we're going to cut around about there. And now, you can see, I can put it straight flat on the top. So, yep, so that's a good tip. When you're good doing tip. this, guys, goggles, gloves, you know, be sensible. Now that has now fit into place. Yeah, getting there. So now you can put this back together if you want to. But if I remember rightly, we've got to gouge out this little section here because of the um, the button. So we're not going to put it back together yet properly. Um, we just put it roughly where it's all got to go. Have a little tinker about with it. So. At this stage, it will probably be good to like stand it and paint it as well. Yeah, definitely, definitely. You know, it's all broken down. It's just what's them things called when you dip it in? Acetone. Acetone could probably work. Yeah. But we've got paint stripper. Any type of acid, I'd assume. I, I'm, that's not my side. I wouldn't. Yeah, know. So I need. I lost my pencil. Oh, this is the story of our life. I know. That's the thing. Oh, it is. Okay, cool. So we know where we're going. I like to keep keep the button because it just cosmetically it just looks better yeah it just looks it. complete yeah so put the button in place mark where you need to cut it job done and then you just got to cut it safely again back out there all we need to do is basically put it back together but what I found before and Sal remember this because we, yep. we were dealing with this for ages if I remember rightly I should have bought my angle grinder you know yes that's one thing that's one tool I haven't got I should have bought it man you can see this is the problem we have you see that that little bit of 
metal that's exposed. Where does that usually go? Okay, so that goes here. Yes, so that's where you lock it. That's how it locks into position. So we need to get rid of that now. We need to get rid of this section here. It needs to go. And the reason why we can't use this is because that has the bolt underneath. Exactly, so we can't use that end. So this is scrap. Yeah, unless you've got a welder. I don't know if this looks like aluminium. I don't know if aluminium can actually weld back together, but yeah, someone like Dan Jones would know exactly how to do something like that. Try and cut this out, grind this off, this little section, and we will have to just channel this little section. Right, so this is the headache. This is the part that's not enjoyable. No. But we're gonna show you raw footage how it's done exactly. with probably not the best tools no like, i've got the basic set you know, I'm, you know angle grinder's probably i don't know angle grinder might be a bit bulky as well though you know it's gonna be flying about angle grinder would work lovely on it to be fair but it's soft metal so we're gonna use a multi-tool and we will use a bench grinder so let's see how that works okay let's go Okay, so, okay. Let's unplug that because that's live. Which one, that one? Yeah, just because you're on it. No. Yeah, right. You're on it and you don't want that going off by accident. Right, cool. So, we're going to try and chop it down. You've got to obviously try and keep it sturdy. If you've got a clamp, you know, a bench clamp or something like that, ideal. I haven't, this is all getting done freehand, you know, so. He's got it going, and then we're just going to get the hacksaw in it. Just take this chunk out, and it should sit flush. Problem is, if you don't get that out, and you just get a little bit of it out, when it goes back on, oh, this is hot. Yeah, yeah. When it goes back on, it doesn't sit flush, and it can pinch your hand. So it's good to get it. It's good to get it flush. Because we've started it off and we've kind of got a groove now, we should hopefully, as he says that, it's very close, might get have to get a hacksaw on it. Yeah, it's going easier than that one. Yeah. <laughs> the GT 2000 was a bit different. Yeah, it's probably softer metal. You know how everything gets made nowadays. It's the quality is gone, isn't it? For most things. if you want you can actually drill that thing to a wooden surface yep and you don't have to hold it if you ain't got no help yep, going. it's getting very hot lads as well as i'm hot sorry you can feel it glasses are steaming up Feel that, sir. Feel that hot. Yeah, I felt it in my flipping gloves. Just, just, just for hacksaw. Man, yeah. cook an egg on it. <laughs> <laughs> 
for the brand new hacksaw blade as well. There we go. Nice, nice and flat. Let's, let's see how that looks when we put this together. There's still gonna be some more work to do, if I remember rightly. We're getting there. Depends on how nicely snug you want. Most well, as I said, sometimes when it ain't that snug, it, this can catch you. Bloody hell, that's hot. Yeah. This can catch you. Yeah. So you're gonna probably what? Grind it down on that? Gonna grind it down. I think what it is as well, it's the the bolts, the bolt where, areas, where they're yeah. raised, because this is not meant to be in this position. Yeah, but to be honest, to be fair, that's not that bad. That's not bad to at all. To be fair, it's it's pretty good. It's, it's gone pretty smoothly. Yeah, yeah, it's gone pretty. We'll quick. give it, we'll give it a little grind off, and then we'll start to put it together. <laughs> How's that fit? Yeah, it fits. fits. Yeah, it fits nice. Snug. Fits know? a bit better than the one so we what done. I, what I'm going to do as well, we didn't do on um, our one. I'll probably put a little bit of silicon here, just to close up the gaps a little bit, so you're not got like a, a raw edge that you're going to catch your hand on. But we tend to tape ours anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You got Kenzo tape in it? I have. Yeah, I've got some Kenzo tape we can use, so that's fine. All right, so we're going to put it back together. Easy enough. You took it apart. You know how to put it back together. Simple as. This is the easy part. So this is where that bolt comes into play. Yeah. So this is why we can't use this part. Where it's already got that part missing is because it doesn't have a bolt. Yeah. Just make sure it's all snug and tight. Not over tight it though because of the uh, cross the thread. But that's, that's there. All right, so we're gonna put the pad back on, which was all you need to do is look where the marks are. Yeah, it went that way. Another little tip is maybe have a little cup to put all your screws in because we've just basically threw them all over the floor. So we might have one missing, but we'll soon see. We're going to have a few screw <laughs> looses on this flipping stretcher. Since then, we've done the mini kickers. A lot of people that contacted, I don't know about you, so I contacted me. How did you make it? Had you yeah, yeah, yeah. The phone didn't stop. That's why we cut the uh, the clip? Because otherwise, you know, you don't have to have that there. But to me, it just looks empty. It, yeah, it just doesn't look finished. It's something you know, and you're more than likely going to catch your fingers in there or whatever. So put it back. Simple. So now all we're going to do is pump it. What I've done with mine, pump it with full of grip fill. So get yourself some grip fill. I wouldn't use rapid, I wouldn't use um, strong stuff, yeah. Use the strong yeah. stuff. 24 hour stuff because it expands. And this stuff don't expand as much. So you don't want complications. <laughs> That fit nice, man. Right, cool. So now 
all we're gonna do is screw it all back together. So would you say that without a grip pill, it'll be a bit too fragile? doing is just taping it up final little touches oh bloody hell you can get this tape on ebay it's about i think it's about three or four quid you get about five meters it's um calligraphy tape or kenzo tape it's for injuries so lots of the sportsmen have it on their knees and shoulders etc but yes it's decent tape And that, my friend, yeah, go show it on the stairs. If are you gonna action it? This is how I'll action it. This is action. Mm. Action. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's just it's just easier. You got more control over it. It's smaller. You just got more control. Well, as I said, we're going to change all of that. So when you want to get, so when you've got kites, yeah, yeah that are like that, more time, my big stretcher is always hanging off the kite like that. But this can, you can go on it and just, yeah. It's good, man. You get into these little areas, like, especially if you've got a room like this, mm. you can get into that and stretch the width, you can stretch the length, you can just get into them small areas. So it's, it's just nice, and it looks nice. And it looks nice, so it's good to have. So that is our mini, mi mi Mini stretcher. Mm. So just um, nice for a loop. That is one fitter that works at my place. Oh. oh. That's the thing, easy to dry. Yeah, that's dry. Oh, it'd be pretty quick to be fair, especially if we get heat on it. If we get a heat on it, it'll dry pretty quick. Right, I can take my safety of, um, glass, um, gloves off. So that's it, guys. That's how you strip down a stretcher and cut it down. So what we want to see is all the fitters out there cutting down their stretchers with their old stretchers, putting it together and posting some pictures up and letting us know how you get along with it. What do you want to do? Plug that heater on? Yeah. Don't forget, like, subscribe and share, guys. You have to, you have to. That's the whole motive. <laughs> like, subscribe and share. Look what we do. We're linking up on a Sunday. Yeah, it's meant to be family day. Yeah. And we're cutting down stretchers for you lot. One, to have content, entertainment, and two, to increase your skill when it comes to fitting because now you can get into them small little areas and stretch away
Trimming the Yeah. But gonna get the heater on this now. We are going to just fasten the dry time on this paint. It's only a little one little layer of paint just so it looks half decent. It's a very old stretcher. But now it's gonna have a another lifespan to it. Another ten years at least. So um, uh, we'll show you the pictures at the end. Thank you for watching the channel. If you've benefited from this and if you if you are going to do uh, chop down your stretcher, show us a video of how you've done it and definitely show us the end product because that's what we want to see. But I hope you enjoyed it. Until then, trim and tuck carpets out. Are you out? Oh, man, man. Are you part of trim and tuck now? <laughs> huh? Uh, I should be... Uh... You're getting money. <laughs> <laughs> one day, how, one how, day. How much are you getting paid, sir? One day, one day. <laughs>